Hello lollies, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth with me, and if you don't know who I am by now then there is no hope for you. Uh, we'll ignore that continue, <laughs> I'll explain that in a moment and we shall play as Samson, as I think I stated in the last video, although I'm not 100% sure. Alright, that continue has come from this is my fourth attempt at starting this video. Uh, the first attempt was ruined by me receiving an email which completely, which of course meant I didn't have my phone on silent and so blah. Uh, for what it's worth though, the email was very worthwhile getting so thank you Nectar Miffy for commenting on my previous video with the name of that stupid freaking creature who I couldn't remember the name of. It is Fistula, which is indeed exactly what it's called and I knew it was freaking called that, I just could never remember at the time. Uh, so, <laughs> so I started my recording again. Second recording, I uh, I got to the opening screen, instead of pressing A to continue, I pressed B and exited the game. Because, you know, I'm smart. Mm. And third recording, for some reason there was a really weird laggy thing that went on when I got into the level, so I just thought I'd just start again, hence that continue. Anyway, hopefully things are going to progress slightly better for us now. Holy hell, never had so many problems making a recording. I do quite like this baby, con this remote control baby by the way, uh, it's not the best in the world, but it's not the worst either. Thank you. Now then, Lazarus Rome, which means we want to try and depend on soul hearts as much as humanly possible. Don't know why I'm breaking the poop, if there is anything in them I am not going to get it. Duke of Flies, okay. You just do your thing. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this isn't how it's supposed to be done, but you know, go what works. Are we going for a boss rush room? That is the question. Well, I suppose we probably should, given that uh, we haven't got one yet on this chappy. So this chappy who is currently weak as all hell, which is why I'm depending on the Robo Baby. HP up, yeah, alright then. Uh, alright, moving on. <laughs> uh, well, that's an exciting room. We will have a look in our cursed room, because why not? Ah, this provides interesting dilemma. Now, if I get really lucky, I will get... Uh, the red hand? Are you serious? <laughs> right, for anyone who isn't fully aware, what the tail actually does is increases your chance of finding chests and decreases your chance of finding uh, keys. Like that one. <laughs> uh, I, shall, I will take this one with us since we don't have a space bar item yet. If we get uh, activated, if we get a better one later, I will swap them out. But for now, we will do with this. Especially since it turns out it actually drops keys. Also drops black hearts, which will be useful for us. Uh, what have I done with the ghost, with the baby? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. It's kind of... Ow. That was dumb. It's kind of difficult sort of positioning the baby at the same time as you're actually trying to do damage to enemies. Is uh, later on he'll just be sort of a passive in the background type thing I expect, but for now he's one of our more predominant things. But my damage has been increased dramatically, which is nice. And uh, I was wrong by the way, I'm not... Uh, Gemini's cool. I was wrong by the way, I'm not after a spirit heart run at all. I am after a red heart run. I need as many red hearts as humanly possible. Because that way, at the start of runs, I can take damage, preferably with something like the IV bag or a blood bank, and then uh, you know what? We'll take that. No, we won't. I've only got four coins. Yeah, uh, yeah with the start uh, IV bag or a blood bank or whatever, and that will give us a big increase to our damage. Nice. Because with Samson, of course, he gets stronger the more damage he takes. Courtesy of the bloody lust that he starts with. 
Uh -huh, uh -huh. There is a bombable rock there. Well, they're all bombable rocks, I suppose, but you know what I mean. Well, oh, those flies are really making my life difficult. Oh, of course, can join friends. You can do that. There we go. That's a troll bomb. Uh -huh. See, blood bank would be really useful right now because there's a bunch of houses lying around, but no such luck. There's another bomb there, and we'll try that for the secret room. Sounds like that was a success. All the money. We could go back to the shop and pick something up, but let's face it, it wasn't really worthwhile. All right, who we got here? Monstro, yay! Yay for more Monstro! We're going to do extra damage to you because of our conjoined twin there. Northern Lion said something quite interesting the other day regarding the conjoined twin. It'd be cool if you could get multiples of it and they would sort of chain link onto each other. Don't think that's possible, but it would be cool. Uh, that is also a damage upgrade, I believe. It's not just Fear Shot, but we'll accept it for both purposes and we'll move swiftly along. Because why not? The lag issues I had in the previous videos, I think I have solved. Well, not necessarily solved, but I think I know what caused them. I believe it was due to... Oh, that works nicely. Uh, basically, it seems to happen around the 30 minute mark, and I think that's basically when my, mem my graphics card or whatever is just going, No, nah, we've had enough. Stop, start recording again. So if it does start to lag, I will just stop the recording and can then start recording again. Stop and continue. Because I think that's all it was. Unicorn Stump. Probably one of the more useless items in the game. It gives you a brief period of in invincibility like this. Ooh, actually. Not so useless because we have Conjoined Twin. And it works on every single room. I will, however, get one more charge on this first. We shall bid it a fond farewell. There we go. Ooh, another golden key for this room. Nice. Red heart. Hmm, use that later, possibly, maybe. So, yeah, I will actually take this with us. I don't. It's one I normally avoid, but with uh, Gemma and I kicking around, this might not be a bad thing at all. Alright, what we got here? Pills, 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 pills. Alright, we'll try that one. Luck up, okay. Health down, not okay. Guess what this pill isn't. <laughs> 48 hour energy. Uh, I will go back for that box of sin actually and you, to make use of those. Wow, all the pills. Full health, thank you. 48 hour energy. Health down. I'll take this 48 hour energy with us. If I know what, I'll just. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. And then there's one. Thanks. <laughs> there's one. There we go. And then we use our pill. There's another. And another. Thank you. And another. Thank you. And another. Yep, that's kind of basically what I was after right there. Thank you, thank you. Puberty. Oh, that's not a bad thing. Well, it's not a bad thing when it's happening to someone else. And then we'll come back and get our horn again. Which is already fully charged because it charges every freaking room. I guess it might make a really big difference to this run. Oh, it's not going to make much difference here, is it? But boss fights and such could be useful. And any time I find myself up Shit Creek, it'll be useful. Gold chest. Not much of a threat, because I got another gold key. Goat head? Hell yeah! Somebody up there likes me. Uh, Bible? No, we're not going to do that again. I always tend... I, I know the last couple of runs I've seen the Bible and I've completely ignored it, but it's because I've had a tendency in the past to just cheese it with the Bible. I will keep it all the way up until I'm once we've gone past Mum's heart, which is really crappy gameplay, I suppose. 
Yeah, we use that and you guys just go nuts. Uh, that's what that do. Yeah, that didn't go so, so badly at all, actually. Roid Rage, speed and range. And we've got Krampus here. Um, oh, crap. I'm not going to lie. I would prefer the Lump of Coal right now. But if he gives us uh, Krampus's head, I will swap out. Lump of Coal. Yeah. Lump of Coal increases our damage over distance. Do we want to explore more? There's not really a whole lot of points, so you know what? Let's just go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's useless. I'm actually doing this mainly so that I can keep near them whilst I'm, and not worry about the spikes. Oh, I have to worry about the spikes. <laughs> I think we did a good bit of damage to them in that time, though, with our uh, conjoined twin there. Thank you. I just noticed how fast we are. This is ridiculous. Start flashing and run away. Hmm. Normally one of the least useful things is that unicorn stomp. Oh crap, yeah, they can get me, I can't get them. Noted. It's alright, because every time they get me, I get increased damage. I can't believe I just put a fear effect on his, uh, basically his ammo. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. Yeah, we'll use our key in this room. Lots of bombs. Sure. No, not lots of bombs. Just one bomb that I use as on a charge. I will pass. Could do with another key now, please. This is where Guppy's Teller starts kicking our ass. Now, there could well be a secret room. Sure. Nope. Alright, screw you. See if I can. I didn't want a secret room anyway. Who would want one of those horrible, horrible rooms? To be fair, for a lot of the part, they do seem to be somewhat more useless now than they did in the previous game. Secret rooms, that is. In in the sort of original Isaac, you find the secret rooms like, fuck yeah, and now it's like, oh, all right then. Can you, can we hit that? Is that, hello? What's that? Why is he not shooting at it? There we go. That was awkward. Jesus, what? All the explosions all at once. And there's a key. Thank you. Yeah. Have to pass on that chest, unfortunately. Or at least for now. If we're lucky, we might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you shit. Oh, crap. Damn. Oh, bugger. We might get another key on this floor still, and then I could consider coming back for the chest. Oh, I did already come here. What did I want the key for then? The shop? Oh, screw that. Ow. Come on. It's just damage up for me. The more you hit me, the more I hurt. Bombs are key. That did us the world of good. Excuse me while I annihilate you. No, thank you. And you, you can get Annihilation too. Free Annihilation for everybody! I don't know what made me come this way rather than continue on the way I was going, but you know, go it works. Alright, I will definitely go back for that chest. Mm -hmm. Mm, and it finally got me. The spikes in that room were bound to get me eventually. Be awesome. That's... I wouldn't consider that awesome, personally. I mean, sure, yay money. <laughs> but yeah, my speed thing is actually... Is probably what just kicked... Spiked me, kicked me ass. Kicked my ass on those spikes. I, I had a sentence there somewhere. Let's uh, make use of lump of coal by keeping our distance here. 
further away we are with lump of coal, the more damage we deal, which is wonderful. Get some free bombs here. Nice. Plus an evil heart. Spirit of the Night. And Dark Bomb. And I can pick them both up. This lets us fly and gives us spectral tears. And this guy could save our Dukas. Of course, we have no red hearts now, so using Samson's magical ability is going to be somewhat more of a hindrance. But that's fine. It just means we're now playing this like it was a regular Isaac run with some decent damage. 48 hour energy. Oh, we'll take it with us at least. We might find something useful for it later. Damn you and your direction changing abilities. Bombs, okay. There's a heart. You're dead. Thank you. I used to avoid spirit, uh, spectral tears on the original Isaac, like the plague, because we could do with some range upgrade, to be honest. Look at our range. Yeah, I used to avoid it like the plague, basically because uh, for some reason it made it harder for me to hit enemies. I don't know if that was just a psychological me thing or what. Uh, yeah, this room's useless, but it can't do squat too well either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's our boss room. Sweet. Oh, that was a badly placed fire. Oh, it wasn't. That was just really shit dodging on my part, let's face it. Right, we haven't been to our uh, thingy room yet. Yeah? What are you going to do? I could... Oh. So I could use my 48 hour energy and just do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't do anything, did it? Ha 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 ha! Keep moving, keep moving. Now we're in some tricky te territory. It's very tricky. It's because of his freaking magical brimstone he's got that can hit, hit anywhere and then bends and curls and die, please. Ah! I thought I was going to avoid that then. I really thought I was safe then. On the right side, no red heart damage. Certain advantage of not having any red hearts. The, I can't take either of those, it just kills us. <laughs> Which is a shame, because I would really like contract from below. Oh wait, now I can. Am I going to be this stupid? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dumbass. Right, let's go find our item room. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this run might now be incredibly brief. No, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!